and welcome back to Multiplex Movie Melee. I'm your host, Caleb Boatman. That's Dylan. We're going to get started with post-match interviews because this is Jacoby versus Antonio. And we're just going to jump right into the post-match or pre-match interviews. You know what I mean? Yes. Anyway, uh, Jacoby, it's been a wow. little bit. Uh, you're back. How are you feeling? <laughs> uh, this is exciting. I'm very happy to be playing Antonio again. I lost to him last time. Um, and I really hope that that doesn't happen again, but I'm, I'm ready to go. And uh, this match is very quick and I really appreciate you guys, but I'm, uh, this is going to be fun. So let's do this. Okay. And we'll bring in Antonio. Antonio, uh, same question. How are you feeling? It's been, it hasn't been quite as long as Jacoby, but you are here. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it has been a while. I figure like in my mind has been all in fandom, but I'm glad to be back here. And especially with Jacoby, Jacoby's an awesome guy. I'm glad to be, you know, facing him again. I feel like we have also like a cool little, uh, little mini rival rivalry. But yeah, so it's, uh, we'll see how this goes. I like to win, but uh, just just excited to play Jacoby again. I'm glad he's back. So let us see how this goes. Okay. Okay. So we will get started with round one. Round one's going to work like this: eight different questions, eight different categories. You get all eight right. You get a bonus question three repeats, and a challenge throughout the entire match should you need them. We're going to get started with your first question, category of horror. Who plays Jonathan Harker, the man who kills Dracula in Bram Stoker's Dracula? You like this movie? You know, I've never seen it beginning to end. Oh, really? So I don't even know if I like it. It's pretty cool. Style over substance, but I like it. (laughs) One hands down. Let's go to Antonio. I believe it's Keanu Reeves and Jacoby. I also said Keanu Reeves. Both correct. Keanu, yes, Keanu Reeves is correct. So your Both. next question comes in the category of directors. Who directed Donnie Brasco, Four Weddings and a Funeral, and Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time? Varying degrees of quality here. Yeah, I'm lagging real bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to know it wasn't Take me. the five count, count, Dylan. I'm lagging. Okay, cool. Five, four, Jeez. three, two, one. Pens down. We will go to Jacoby first. I said Richard Curtis. And Antonio? I know way off, really, Scott. <laughs> Both incorrect. We are looking for Mike Newell. All right. Okay, your next question comes in the category of 2000s. What is the name of the all-female chipmunk group featured in Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Squeakquel? <laughs> and who got that last one, Dylan? Uh, they both missed. So it's still one okay. to one. Yeah, one to one. I am signing the chipmunk. Five. Four, That's fair. Two, one, pens down, pens down. Let's go to Jacoby. We said the, the chipettes. And Antonio. The chipmunkettes? I don't know. The chipettes is correct. Oh, wow. Jacoby gets the yeah. lead on that one. We get to your next question, Dylan. Yeah, which comes in the category of the Oscars. Clute, Network, and Cabaret all won what Oscar? Cool. Yeah. Love the Oscars. I don't have too much. <laughs> Five, four, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Pens down. Let's go to Antonio. Best picture. And Jacoby. I said best actress. Best actress is correct. Oh, okay. Yep. Your next question comes in the category of sports. In Major League, what city is the new owner looking to move the team to? You play any sports? Dylan. <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> Dylan. Five, four. Three. Awesome question. Two. Uh, one. No such thing as a stupid Ten question, step. but that <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, I forget where we were at. Antonio? Uh, Miami. And Jacoby? I said Los Angeles. 
Miami is correct. So Antonio cuts into the lead, the lead there. So we get into the next question, which comes in the category of horror. Who plays the butcher in 2020's Freaky? Do you have a favorite kind of meat? Like turkey, Ooh. ham? Not a big turkey guy. I like I like ribs. Ribs are good. Pork ribs, probably. Like ribs. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. No, I'm not a big ribs guy. I'm not like a ribs or a pork chop guy. Fair. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll go to Jacoby. Vince Vaughn. And Antonio? Vince Vaughn. Both correct. We get into your next question. Category of crime. In what 1960s crime film is a character arrested for cutting parking meters? I mean, who hasn't been there, Like, to be honest? Stupid I ass parking I meters. Parking meters. Sometimes. True. Like, same. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, pens down, Jacoby. Antonio? I think wrong decade. This thing? And Jacoby? It's a vertigo. Both incorrect. We were looking for Cool Hand Luke. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Still got to see that. So your, your final question in round number one will come in the category of coming of age. What is Randall's nickname in Dazed and Confused? I've got nothing for this one. Uh, this one those people talk. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, and we will go to Antonio. Still got to see this movie. Smokey? <laughs> hmm. And Jacoby? Peggy's going to be so upset with me. Uh, Big Easy? <laughs> that is incorrect. We're looking for Pink. Pink Floyd. Yes. Uh, okay. So with that, I have the score at 4-3 to three in Jacoby's favor coming out of round number one. Is that what you have? That is also what I have. All right, cool. You want to introduce round two? <laughs> Let's suck at it. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> yeah. Round two is going to work like this. Each competitor is going to get a chance to spin the wheel. That they can spin, they can keep it. They don't, they don't. They can spin again, but then they're stuck with it. They're going to get five questions in whatever category they get. They get it right. Two points, multiple choice, one point. Get it wrong. Other player gets a chance to steal. Uh, Jaco the categories on our lovely wheel tonight are Gene Hackman, recent releases, post-2000 Tom Cruise, sci-fi fantasy, romantic comedies, mystery thriller, romance, animation, and spinners and opponents' choice. So, Jacoby, you're in the lead. Would you like to spin first or defer to Antonio? I will defer, please. Okay, so Antonio, this is your spin. Post yeah, 2000 Tom Cruise, your strength. I will keep that. Okay. All right. So then I will uh, read your so, questions. Uh, do you want me to read them? Yeah, okay. All right, I'll read <laughs> your questions, fine. Antonio, in post-2000 Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. In Night and Day, June is returning home to Boston after buying car parts in what city? Oh, God. Uh, mobile choice. Right. <laughs> your options are A, Topeka, B, Little Rock, C, St. Louis, or D, Wichita. Wichita? That is correct for one point. Your next question. What military ranking does Nathan Al Algren have in The Last Samurai? Captain. That is correct for two points. Your third question. Who plays Frederick Fromm, the head of Germany's res reserve army in Valkyrie? Tom Wilkinson. That is correct for two more points. So your penultimate question in this category. What real life person does Cruz play in American Made? Multiple choice. All right. Your options are A, Monty Schaefer, B, Wilbur Wright, 
C, Barry Seal, or D, Wiley Post? Barry Seal. That is correct for one point. So your final question in this category. Who directed The Mummy? Damn, multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Alex Kurtzman, B, Simon Kinberg, C, Alex Proyas, or D, Joseph Kaczynski? A. And that is correct for one more point. Good job. So I have Antonio at 11, Jacoby at 4. Is that what you have, Dylan? Uh, I had him at 10. 10. 4. Okay. Then yeah, because he went, he went to we multiple can... choice on three. So That's fair. I, yep. I will totally believe I just messed that up. So 10 to 4 as we get into Jacoby's spin. Okay, this. Jacoby, this will be your spin. And you land on romantic comedy. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Um, can you scroll down? Just sorry, a little bit, please, so I can see the. Five. Um, let's risk it. Let's spin again. Oh. Zoom tight. Thank you. <laughs> more <laughs> romance. I, I hate comedy. I just need the straight romance. There's more love in this. Yeah. <laughs> I will give you your questions in the category romance. In Dirty Dancing, what did Baby carry to get into the party when she first interacts with Johnny? Um, what did she carry? What is she carrying? Uh, multiple choice, please. Multiple choice options are A, liquor, B, cake, C, pizza, D, watermelon. Say cake. That is incorrect, Antonio, for the one-point steal. Your options are A, liquor, B, cake, C, pizza, D, watermelon. Watermelon? That is correct for one point. In Love and Basketball, what NBA team was Quincy playing for when he injures his knee? And we need the city and team name. Cool. Um... What was he playing for? Can I go multiple choice? Multiple choice options are A, Phoenix Suns, B, Los Angeles Lakers, C, New York Knicks, D, Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, C. C is incorrect, Antonio, for the one-point steal. Your options are A, Phoenix Suns, B, Los Angeles Lakers, C, New York Knicks, D, Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, A? That is also incorrect. Looking for C, or B, the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, Lakers. Uh, your next question, category romance, Jacoby. What romance features performances by Omar Sharif, Rod Steiger, and Julie Christie? Multiple choice, please. Multiple choice options are A, Far From the Matting Crowd, B, Dr. Zhivago, C, Shampoo, D, Funny Girl. What about Shampoo? That is incorrect. Antonio, for the one-point steal, your options are A, from the, A, Far From the Matting Crowd, B, Dr. Zhivago, C, Shampoo, D, Funny Girl. I'll go A again. A is also incorrect, looking for B, Dr. Zhivago. Oh, really? Wow. That's fun. All right, your penultimate question, Jacoby, in the category of romance. What decade did Noah and Ali first meet in The Notebook? Um, multiple choice, four. please. Multiple choice options are... A, 30s, B, 40s, C, 50s, D, 60s. Thirties? 
That is incorrect. Antonio, for the one-point steal, your options are A30s, B40s, C50s, D60s. 40s. That is correct for one point. And, Jacoby, your final question in the category of romance. Who directed The Preacher's Wife? Oh, at least I've heard of that movie. So that's good. Um, multiple choice, please. Multiple choice options are A, Rob Marshall, B, John Patrick Shanley, C, Nora Ephron, D, Penny Marshall. Penny Marshall. Correct for one point. Ooh, you're in trouble now, Antonio. Antonio <laughs> at 12, Jacoby at 5. That is what I have, yes. Okay, we're going to get into round number three. Round three is going to work like this. Each competitor is going to get to pick what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four-point question. Categories they, they will be able to pick from tonight are 2010s, Spielberg, Nicole Kidman, Coming of Age slash Teen, Actors and Actresses, Oscars, Musicals, and Westerns. We will let them pick their categories right now, and we will be back later. Okay, we are back, and we will get started with Jacoby since he is down, starting with his one-pointer in Actors and Actresses. I gave uh, Jacoby his questions around two, so Dylan, go ahead. All right, so your one-point question, Jacoby. What actor stars in the war films Stalag 17 and The Bridge on the River Kwai? Uh, Alec Guinness. That is unfortunately incorrect. We were looking for William Holden. So then we will stick with Jacoby for his two-point question in musicals. What recent musical features the songs 3090, Therapy, and Louder Than, Word, Louder Than Words? Tick, tick, boom. That is correct for two points. We will stick with Jacoby for his three-point question now in Spielberg. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe he has to hit both of these to stay alive. Yes. Correct. So uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Correct. All right. So your three-point question in Spielberg, Jacoby. In Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the film opens with young Indiana trying to steal what type of object? Uh, what type of object? Um, a cross. That is correct for three points. So now if Jacoby hits his four-point question in the category of 2010s, he will send it back to Antonio. If not, then Antonio will win by technical knockout. Your question, Jacoby. What 2010s film is about two strangers who survive a plane crash, then journey through the wilderness to survive? Ooh. Let me get this title wrong. Um, I think it's the one. I think it's the Idris Elba Kate Winslet one. I Five, think. Four, Repeat the question, please. Three. Okay. Good question again. All right. What 2010s film is about two strangers who survive a plane crash and journey through the wilderness to survive? Oh, it might not be 2010s though. But that's the only one I can think of. Even then, I don't know the title very well. Um. Yeah, nah, uh, five. The space Four. between us. And your winner by way of technical knockout, Antonio the Assassin Chavez. The correct answer was the mountain between. Ooh. Oh, I was like, I thought so it was. It between was between, between those two. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna go to post match interviews, starting with our winner tonight, Antonio. Antonio, you pulled off the victory. How are you feeling? Uh, that could have gone either way. I'm just glad that, you know, I mean, we're bo I'm sure we're both knocking off some rust, but I'm just glad to come out with the win. I'm glad to f uh, finally get my strength <laughs> in uh, round two. So that I'm sure that helped me out a lot. And obviously some of those steals from uh, Romance or one or two. But, yeah, uh, still a tough match because Jacoby can, you know, always come back. I thought he actually had it. So, yeah, just still glad to come out with the win. That is fair. Uh, well, Antonio, when you, we do see an exit, we'll be in the tournament. So who are you hoping comes through there in the tournament? Uh, uh, pretty much anyone. Like, that's the thing. I've been so like out of the whole melee mindset that I'm just like, <laughs> whoever can pretty much 
I'll take on anyone right now. I also need to get back in this mindset, but I'm just ready to get back into this rhythm. So looking forward to it. You know, regular movies, catching up a lot of stuff. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the tournament. That is fair. Well, thank you, Antonio. Now we go over to Jacoby. Jacoby, uh, just kind of seemed like round two just didn't go your way tonight. And then round three. <laughs> round three. Yep, yep, it, it did not. Um, I took the risk of spinning away from romantic comedy, something that I thought I could do pretty okay on, and then wanted to, so I wanted to spin for a strength. I was feeling lucky and uh, did not go my way, but I'm happy to have played Antonio. Antonio is just a great guy, and now it's now it's good because now he's my true rival because he's beat me twice now. So now I gotta I gotta come back even stronger next time. But uh, yeah, no, it's, it's always fun, and I'm happy I'm happy to be back. And next time I'll be more <laughs> on my game. <laughs> So what do we do? See, uh, who do you want to play next? Oh God, um, someone who I haven't played before, I guess. Uh, anyone? I know God. I always never want to be in that position where you're just like, who do you want to play? And everyone always says like, oh, I'll take anybody you throw at me. So I want to actually <laughs> give names, and then I don't have a name to give. But you've been uh, away too long. You don't even remember who's playing. Anyone, here. Everyone in there. <laughs> give me uh, one of the Kingsmen next. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, thank you, Jacoby. Uh, Dylan, you know, uh, I thought that was a good match. You know, uh, Jacoby almost got there with that four, just a word off, and sometimes that's the way it goes. Do uh, you have any thoughts, Ed, before we head out? Yeah, absolutely. A solid performance for Antonio. Yeah, heartbreaker on the last question, but a solid match overall. And, yeah, I think this won't be the last we'll see from Jacoby. And Antonio's looking uh, pre pretty scary going into the tournament. So, yeah, it should be good. Absolutely. Well, thank you to Jacoby. Thank you to Antonio. Thank you to Dylan. This has been a Multiplex of Movie Melee. We will see you later.